Have you heard the hype? The poles are shifting. We're going to have a cataclysmic pole shift. Or, perhaps you've heard of the mysterious shift in Earth's magnetic field, or the North Pole is moving. Most of the claims have some type of safe zone or flooded area such as these. There is usually some type of doom and gloom claim about the US government shutdown being a problem along with these claims. Let's take a look, and try to understand what's really happening and what's being reported. We need to first understand the difference between the magnetic north, versus the geographic or true north pole. The Earth rotates on the geographic north and south poles. The geographic north and south poles are where lines of longitude, meridians, converge in the north. The south and north pole are directly opposite to one another. The north pole is located in the middle of the Arctic Ocean. Scientists have tried marking the north pole. Because the water here is permanently covered with moving sea ice, it's practically impossible to construct any type of permanent station at the true north pole. On the other side of the Earth, the South Pole lies on a continental landmass known as Antarctica. Because the ice on top of Antarctica moves only a few meters a year, the United States Antarctica program has installed a marker here to delineate the true South Pole. The Magnetic North Pole The Magnetic North Pole is a point where the northern lines of attraction enter the Earth. The Earth is a giant magnet. A compass needle rests freely in its casing so it can maneuver itself. When you pull out a compass, it aligns itself with the Earth's magnetic field. The small magnetic pin is how a compass responds to Earth's magnetism. This means that a compass needle will point to the magnetic north pole which is different from the geographic north. Now that we understand the differences, let's take a look at what's being reported in the news. Earth's magnetic field is moving, not the geographic north pole. The magnetic pole has been shifting and moving ever since Sir James Clark Ross first measured it back in 1831. In the mid-1990s it picked up speed, from around 15 km per year to around 55 km per year. By 2001, it had entered the Arctic Ocean where, in 2007, a team landed an airplane on the sea ice in an attempt to locate the pole. In 2018, the pole crossed the international date line into the Eastern Hemisphere. It is currently headed for Siberia. The big news, is that magnetic pole is shifting at a much faster rate of speed than predicted by scientists for use with the World Magnetic Model. What is the World Magnetic Model? In simple terms, it's a predictive model used to calibrate navigation equipment. It is used extensively for navigation and heading referencing systems by the UK Ministry of Defence, the US Department of Defence, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the International Hydrographic Organization. It is also used widely in civilian navigation and heading systems. The real question is, why is the pole shifting rapidly? Scientists believe the location of the North Magnetic Pole appears to be governed by two large-scale patches of liquid or molten iron, one beneath Canada and one beneath Siberia. Scientists are currently working on this relationship theory to better understand the pole movement. With the changes in pole movement, the World Magnetic Model was scheduled to be updated but now will be postponed. Currently the US government is shut down and the office that maintains the model, NOAA, or National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has been furloughed due to a lack of appropriations. Overall, the magnetic pole is shifting at a faster than predicted rate and scientists have known this for some time. It's not the cataclysmic event you may be hearing about in the news. The Earth isn't going to flip or turn from end to end. Scientists have new information and need to update the model. The update was scheduled for early January but the government shutdown has postponed this. Please subscribe and click the like button below.